William Mor- Well, that was an easy one, and you know what? We're gonna take this- Did you- Duh! I- I hacked, but I'm- okay. Alright, welcome YouTube to the 2500 special halfway between 2,000 and 3,000 we are going to be doing, of course, photo randomizer, this time on Asylum. They have patched the fingerprints in this, the patch that we're playing on. Uh, if a ghost is hunting and it's a fingerprints ghost, if it touches a door, it leaves fingerprints, which allows us to take s many, many fingerprints photos, which are awesome. The best photo you can take multiples of. Uh, so we'll see if we can get a lot of money. We can see if we can even do it because it is a photo randomizer after all. Now let's go. Let's hop in. Hopefully we don't crash. Let's get to level 2500. All right, here we are. Hopefully we don't crash. I think we will be fine. Let's grab our tools. In case you haven't seen a photo randomizer before, what are the rules? The rules are we have 10 slots. First, aggressive ghost. All right, aggressive ghost. But now the rules. Um, if you take a photo and it shows up with a name above it, if that name, uh. Well, you can take up to two photos of each type and get an item for each. Fingerprints gives you an item. Another fingerprints gives you another item. Third fingerprints won't give you an item. That's our rules we have set. Ghost photo is unique in that it gives you two items because you cannot multiply it. You cannot take multiple ghost photos. Um, and also, on top of that, if you finish an objective, which in this case we got fo photo of the ghost. So the photo of the ghost will give us three items instantly. That's pretty good. And then we have so much sticks and salt, which we need items for. We don't have these items. So William Moore. Let's see if we can do it. It's a little laggy, but we're fine. Where's the breaker? Oh no, it's going to be in a shit spot, isn't it? All the way to the right. That is really unfortunate. But let's head in anyway. Let's see if we can do it. Grab the key. All the way to the right. And we don't have a candle to prevent sanity drain, so that's going to be unfortunate. Hello, William? It's also Valentine's Day while we're recording this, so happy Valentine's- Happy belated Valentine's Day, day to you, YouTube. Boom. What if I found it? You guys have screamed pog champ at me. Let's turn this on. Hello, William. I don't hear anything. gonna be a chill run I feel this is nothing is gonna go wrong Super Mario player thank you for the gifts up the William Moore won't forget that name now thank you for noting it down for me if we can find the bone we'll be epic sparkly sparkly Zanaku thank you for the for the sub. Or the board, yeah. Also the board. William? Oops. Got stuck between my own door. Hey, Casey. There's only a couple spots, according to the map that's on the wiki, there's only a couple spots where you can find the board on this map. Don't know if that's completely true. Oh, really? Can I make it in? I don't think I can make it in time. He already turned off the breaker. That's an important thing to note. I don't think I can make it in time for a photo. Though. That sucks, but... Wait, I can. I can totally. All right, we're going to just take a YOLO photo. This should be fine. Yes! Well, that is interesting. I've never <laughs> had an item roll like this. Well, I guess I may have found the bone one time. We got an item before we even found the ghost. 
What if we camp this? What if we roll our item? Let's see. What are we gonna get? Maybe we'll get a tracking item. Crucifix? I mean, I guess. Okay. We can stop a hunt with that. It's not too bad for free. I'll take a free crucifix. I would appreciate if he didn't turn it off again, though. That looks a little creepy. Reflection and stuff. I think this is one of the rooms where the port can be? I'm not sure. Web Neko, thank you for the... Puma! Risa. I'm not really out to find the bone. The bone is more like an extra if I can just luckily stumble upon it. Uh, there are mannequins in this, by the way. I think there's a mannequin over here. Yeah, look at that. It's freaking creepy. I wonder where they teleport to. Mannequin in an asylum. Do a solo asylum run right now. I invite everyone to. Uh, you gotta do at least one time during your phasmophobia play. You gotta do a solo asylum. So, oh! I heard that. Sounded upstairs. Dead Shadow, thank you for the four months. Webneko, thank you for the. Wait, didn't you just sub? Thank you for the tier three for three months in advance. Holy. And Golden Gate, what the fuck? <laughs> Guys. Did I do this? I did this, right? No, I didn't. I don't think I went this way. Did I? I did went. I did go this way. I did do that. I did do that. Golden Gate, thank you for the five gift subs. So, uh, William, can you give us another sign? Vino, thank you for the five hundred pieces. Thank you guys. I'm gonna go turn on some lights. They actually fixed the way lights work in Asylum. It's a lot better now. I heard a door open though, so we can definitely find a door. But thank you so much, Webneko, again, for the tier three, for three months in advance. That is too kind of you. We're gonna do this, this, this. Did it just fucking... Oh, okay, I was about to say, did it just pop the breaker? Uh, Edwum, Edemon, and Mahler's, thank you guys for- well, thank- Edemon for the 400 biddies and Mahler for the- continue your gifts up. Where are you at, ghost? Chop chop. I heard it upstairs here. Yeah, it is lagging a bit in, like, the main area. Ring at writer. R ring at the writer? And Fino with the five gift subs. Guys. Guys, you're breaking the immersion. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Thank you so much. Golden Gate with another gift sub. Is that a door? Is that open? No. Thank you guys. We're being too sweet. It's not here? I heard it. My immersion. It's the Valentine's Day immersion. All the love, you know? Jake Knox, thank you for the 1500. And Nani Nani with the 100 pieces. Thank you, guys. Alright. Um, so far, so not good. Well, it was the fun while it lasted. Let's go turn it back on, shall we? It's a little bit annoying. Is it here? I don't think it is here, but it sounded in this direction. Maybe it's one of these doors? Is it freezing here? Hello, William?
just for Dan. Thank you for the 200. There are so many changes on the beta. I would recommend anyone play on the beta. I mean, maybe by the time the video comes out, it's already kind of up to speed. With the, um... The normal patch. Like, I don't know if they are already merged. The current patch and the beta branch at the point when this video comes out. Extreme? No, no, I think you would have given so. Turn on the bra turn on the breaker again. This guy's pretty annoying with the breaker, so we gotta note this. And it didn't say reports of light switching; it said uh, aggressive ghost. So it doesn't have like doesn't have an excuse. Let's put it that way. Oh, I heard a door again. KJ, thank you for the five good subs. Okay, I think it is downstairs potentially. Thank you so much, KJ. Guys, thank you. Let's just go down. Let's just check down the stairs. That shadow, think of it. 200 biddies, guys! Dax, thank you for the 2 month reset. And Danium, thank you for the 300 biddies. My goodness. So much love. All right, it's down this hallway, I'm telling you. See this spooky hallway? It has a ghost in it. Hello? William? Small, small ducky, thank you for the 200 biddies. Is it in here maybe? Winter, thank you. Nope. Alright, Mr. William, it's time for you to come out. Oh! It's upstairs. Oh, never mind! If there is- there's no room like a cock room. Where's the other cock? There's two, oh, well, I found it. <laughs> it's freezing! Uh, Alright, we found it. This is actually really good. Can you give us a sign? Colored madness, thank you for another thousand biddies. Can you give us a sign, William? William, imagine if the breaker was here. We would have instantly been led to the ghost room. That would have been epic. Um, William Moore, can you show yourself? Can you throw something? Can you manifest yourself? William? Hello? William? Way more? What? Oh, he's just just casually turning off lights. I mean, we could definitely take a photo of this to get potential. You know, you know what I'm doing? We're gonna do the trick. We're gonna allow this guy to throw this item or these items here, hopefully, and then we'll take a photo of the general area, all of it. If it's fingerprints, we'll get fingerprints. If it's interaction, we'll get interaction. It said, or well, we'll get interaction as our safety, basically. Can you give us a sign? William Moore, can you show yourself? Chalk cakes, thank you for the two months. Can you give us a sign? You guys are crazy. Thank you so much for the support. Give us a sign. Manifest yourself. Chop, chop. Oh, hello? This guy really wants this light off, doesn't he? Really? Is this a fucking mare? This feels like a mare. <laughs> this is such a mare. Give us a sign. Manifest yourself. William Moore, give me a sign. Please show yourself. William Moore. Well, that was an easy one. And you know what? We're going to take this... Did you? Duh! I, I hacked, but I'm okay. Oh, it's not a ref at least. Holy shit, man. You're fucking messed up. He's opening doors. Oh, he's very close. This is this is where the 
the thing is, right? We have to go up here. Oi, oi, oi! Dude, this guy is a spooky maniac! I need to not corner myself. Woo! Well, well, well! Uh, it's not a gym because it's a uh, thing. Okay, let's see. We got ourselves um, three items from that one photo because two for the ghost photo and one for the objective. And then we got another, this is gonna be a breeze. I mean, that was terrifying right there, by the way. But uh, now we're good. Also, we can check our sanity. I wonder what it is, I really. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Go, go, go. Oh, it's aggressive for sure. You were right about that one. All right, let's find the bone, shall we? Oh, this is just annoying. Fine. Looking for the bone while the flashlight is blinking is making me motion sick. <laughs> I'm not gonna corner myself, corner myself there. Am I going the wrong- oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I went up on the different floor than I expected. I thought I was- <laughs> Okay, even I get lost. This is the most important thing. This is always what I recommend people Just keep a general idea. I thought I was on the l I thought I went up on the left side But I went up on the right side which got me confused if you just know if you're on the left or the right You'll be fine Like that's all you need. Yeah, you know, people try. I don't know if people try to remember too much or something but if you just know those two things, am I on the left or the right, you know that it, which way you have to move to move closer to the middle. Which is all you need to know to get out. Really? Wait. Wait, I'm actually here? Oh, I yeah. am. This goes to freaking aggressive, man. This is such a mare. We have crucifixes though, so that's good. We could throw those in there. And we also have a lot of items here, potentially. So we should be fine, hopefully. Let's see if this bug is fixed. Can we move through the door? I'm not gonna do it if I can, but I'm just curious. I don't think this ever worked in single player. If we're actually still positive sanity, then... Okay, run. Let's see, what do we got? Wow! I mean, we did get some ghost events, but that's pretty harsh. <laughs> Hopefully we get sanity pills. Let's see. So, we get one, two from the ghost photo because it's such a special photo. And then interaction gives us another one. And, uh, objective two. So let's see. Let's roll them. Exclamation. So we have four rolls here. It's pretty crazy. Spirit box. Exactly what we need for Mare. Infrared sensor. Not very useful. Motion sensor. Not very useful. EMF reader. I mean... Alright, spirit box. Spirit box is fine. EMF reader is kind of useless. I'm going to take a spirit box and a crucifix and let's get in there. All we need is spirit box. I mean, it's acting kind of like a demon as well. Are we gonna get spirit box though? That's the real question. It's kind of an awkward spot to be. The ghost room is like right below, uh, below your, oh, what the fuck? I was like, I don't think it's a wraith. If we get, if we get wraith mare demon, if we get spirit box, then I'm highly leaning towards 
mare, but we'll see. The sanity was 10%. Yure doesn't really drop your sanity all that fast, honestly. Yure should probably just buff the general sanity drop instead of what it does right now, where if the ghost physically manifests itself near you, then Yuri uh, does something. But let's see. How old are you? Where are you? Here you go! So we have Wraith Mare Demon, and I'm very much thinking it's a Wraith. Or- WHAT?! Where did the crucifix go? Or- What the f- How did you use it twice? Bro. What the fuck? Man. What the fuck is wrong with you? I like the opening door so much. He, you can't move through that. No, you can't. Come close then, huh? Such a, I like this ghost model. Is he gonna follow me up is the question. Is he gonna follow me? Mr. Ghost. Whew. How did you use the crucifix? How? Is it in back in- did it like teleport out of bounds? Is it back in the truck here? Maybe? No, it actually- Anyone have predictions for how that's possible? Did I somehow- Wait. Did- was I holding the crucifix at some point during that walk towards the location? What if I used a crucifix from a different floor on top of it? And then when I- because I- he didn't hunt for way too long. And then I dropped the crucifix in the ghost room. If it would have fa fallen through the map, it would be here right now. Maybe it actually used a crucifix when I was on top of the room. I don't know if there's a check on the crucifix that it has to be also in the same, like, axes. Like, vertical axes. Wow. Alright, well, we don't really have anything. This is kind of tough, man. It's acting such like a mirror. But our sanity is really low, too. It can't be a wraith. Can we even get another photo, or do we just have to decide based on this? Because there's no... Ghost photo, we already have. Interactions, we already have. We can't get... Uh, I guess we can look for the bone? And stuff? This is like... So if this is a freaking demon, then fuck you. Alright, we're looking for the bone, I guess. This guy is nuts. Yeah, it disappears from your hand. It's spooky. I love it. Let's see if we can find the bone real quick. Do we have... I feel like this is just... A mare, though. I mean, it's Shane hunting like a demon. But that light shenanigan shit was... Are you here? Or are you below? The like light shenanigans were too suspicious. I could check the default- wait, he opened this door. I guess he did come here. Or, unless he didn't. 
We could open the... We could look at the camps. Is there a cam in that direction, though? Is there? Or no? There's one point... Yeah, but it has to, like, be in that room. Otherwise, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, the hunts are pretty crazy, though. I gotta give that to you. Although it's paused now. Does a mare also have, like, if you are below 40% sanity and the light is on, does a mare still have less chance to hunt if the light is on? Because if we see different type of chain hunts when the light is on, we could also test it that way. All right, you're still going. Hey, Tyler Justice. But the fact that it... Like, what demon does this? What demon th does so many light switches? That's just kind of stupid. Haha, <laughs> Michelle. It turned off the light. It turned off the breaker before we even got to the room. It turned it off again. It was toggling the lights so many times while we were there. Although it is hunting like a nut bag. Or were the reports aggressive? So it could just be a aggressive. Like, this feels way more like an aggressive mare than a demon. Because if it was the other way around, if it says reports of light switching, I would go demon. But because it said reports of aggressive or, like, the ghost was aggressive, like the standard most aggressive response, right? That makes me feel like it's a mare. But we can try to turn on the lights while we are busy checking for the for the bone is it hunting every 20 seconds really are you guys counting it is chain hunting now this is so hard to see If I could just get the bone, we could get another item. That would be lovely. Okay, let's see. Uh, can someone note down what time it is right now? It's searching doors. The light is off, right? I'm gonna go down and we're gonna go to the to the breaker. Oh, it's there. Never mind. I can't. I can't go this way. If I go that way and I get chased, then I'm dead. Because that's I'm getting myself into a dead end. It's 30 seconds, so it is properly chain hunting but a demon has 20 seconds or does a demon have does a demon actually have 20 seconds chain hunts chain hunts is that a thing i thought every ghost had a 30 second cooldown because that is actually such a powerful tool to tell the ghost if a demon can hunt i think every ghost has 30 seconds wait really or is this confirmed on Thank you, Cam. Attractive Ninja, thank you for the four months. And Mercy Sora, thank you for the prime. And Ajarazar, thank you for the two months. Thank you, guys. And Slug, Slug Girl, thank you for the prime. And Michelle with the gift sub. And Chalk Cakes with the two months. Thank you, guys. Sorry for the miss. 
missed support. Let's go past this ghost room. Can't the board be somewhere here? I need to be on this side when he starts hunting so I can go past him. Come on. Suki Tanuki, thank you for the prime. Are you gonna hunt now? You're pretty insane. I gotta give that to you. Do I have a crucifix in my hands? I'm leaving that there. Oh god, walked too far. That was 40 seconds. Let's turn on the light. Let's see if that significantly changes his behavior. The nice part about this side of the asylum is that you can actually get chased all the way over here because there's a loop at the end of this. You can actually loop an asylum around certain places, obviously. Like in the kitchen, you can loop around those, um, like, what is it, kitchen counters. And here you can loop around the, off the, like, meeting table thingy, if you have to. No, we already got two items for the ghost photo. So we are done with the ghost photo. I have never looped here. Alright, let's turn this on. Let's see what happens now, if we can turn the light on in there, which you probably won't because he's gonna, like, be crazy. I'd already checked all of this, right? Yeah, I did. No, Peld. I answered your question. You can't do that. Valentine's Day. Well, time to take another way to the same spot, I guess. 43 seconds. I mean, the light isn't on there right now, so it doesn't really matter right now what it is. Why, do, why are there so many different answers? What? Stopwatch says 43. I trust the stopwatch. Christmas curry. Are you here? I think he's downstairs. Okay. Go! gonna make it are we we need to turn on the lights in the ghost room that's a channel that's the operation right now unless he already popped the breaker in which case this is a mirror anyway don't do it don't you dare don't be a little fuck okay got him uh, can you give us a sign? Well... Oh fuck, where do you spawn? Someone count. Forty-five seconds? Okay, so now... I mean, it didn't really change anything. Ghost? Where is he? But the question is, does a mare, I think a mare, there's a lot of these things where we think more, we think that the game is more in depth than it actually is. Like a banshee, as far as I have experienced, is not actually less aggressive around a crucifix. It's just, it gets stopped more easily by the crucifix. Uh, maybe similar to a mare, where the mare also just gets... It, it has this like modifier where it wants to turn off the light, but it doesn't actually matter that much for the activity. I don't know. 
because I've been baited a lot by Maris. I mean, I guess I've also been baited by Maris turning on the light. Can you give us a sign? Should we try one more time to get the fingerprints? Can you throw an item? Can you throw something? Can you give us a sign? I mean, if this is a wraith, this is the plot twist of the century. Can you show yourself? Can you manifest yourself? William Moore. How old are you? Okay. Well, we can do this. Did it not spawn in there? Oh, it did. So confused. You got interaction again, not fingerprints. Oh, yikes. Uh, I find 45 seconds is too slow for a demon. A, a, a demon with the aggressive modifier should not give you 45 seconds. That just doesn't make sense. 45 seconds is way too easy. A shy demon doesn't make sense if it got the aggressive modifier. Like a demon with with that modifier should totally chain hunt you 30 seconds. Like 30 to 35 seconds every time. So I feel like we're gonna sadly just have to go with our guts here. Because we can't really get anything. Like this is the this is the the, fa the photo randomizer stillmate, where we could uh, go around the entire building, but otherwise we're just gonna have a two for one. I feel like this must be a mare. If we get it wrong, we'll do one right after. But I think we are correct. Like this just just doesn't make sense. It's not a wraith because there's no fingerprints. And even before it started hunting, it gave us some extreme mare vibes, because. Because of the the lights. It turned off the breaker twice before we even found the room. Like, there's come on. And then it turned off the light like six times in a row. Yep. There you go. So contrary to popular belief, I know it happens a lot where we go salty on the game that the mare turned off the lights, but or the mare turned on the lights, but generally you can still tell these ghosts by their behavior. So my goal, my, my idea was there, is hunting not enough. Now it feels a lot, but that's why you should have like a stopwatch or something on the side. Because it, it felt way more aggressive than it actually was. Make sure you listen to the initial, this was such an important. Literally the prompt at the start of this game made me, uh, decided my end guess. Because if it- Steve Bob, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you, Steve Bob. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, uh, the, the start, initial prompt was, um, we have reports of violence and it looks like they left in a hurry. Um, which is the most aggressive modifier you can have to a ghost. It makes ghosts, like, hunt as soon as they are able to. It, it just makes them overall more aggressive versions of the ghost. It doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna get... It doesn't have any effect on the ghost type, by the way. Just on the modifiers of the ghost. Um, which, if that instead had said reports of light switching, I would have gone with demon here. Because it was hunting a lot. Like, 45 seconds is, is pretty much a, a solid, okay chain hunt for a normal ghost. But... Uh, it gave me ma major mare vibes because of the light switching. It turned off the breaker immediately, t twice, and then it when I was in the room, it just... Every time I turned on the light, it turned it back off, like, literally six times in a row. That gave me some insane mare vibes. Um, and the only options, because we already ruled out fingerprints, was... Mare or demon, but those were also the most interesting ones here. Because if this was light switching, as I said, I would have probably gone for demon... But because it was aggressive, I- if you have aggressive combo with a demon, like... I kind of want to go back to my, like, old- like, the- the old school video with, like, 800,000 views. That one, I had some insane chain hunts. I had, like, 50 hunts in one game, which is just nuts. Like, I don't- maybe not 50, but, like, 20 hunts or some- someone counted it. I don't know how many it was, but we had, like, an insane amount of hunts. Um...
I kind of want to know now if that was an aggressive ghost. Like, what the initial... Um... What the prompt was for that ghost. I don't remember. Oh, obviously. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed that. That is a teaching moment right there. Listen to the prompt. Make sure that you know what this ghost is. Don't get baited by a... A... A light switching mare. A light switching modifier mare can actually turn on lights quite often. Uh... And light switching in general makes most ghosts act like a mare. So don't get baited by that. That one is an important one to look out for. And reports of violence is an important one to look out for. Because they will make ghosts seem like demons. Uh, but in this case, this was not aggressive enough for a demon with that modifier. So I went for mare. Sorry for that entire rent. I hope you learned something. If you enjoyed this video, like it. If you just like it, dislike it. If you're not subscribed, please do so. And if you want to join the lovely gamers that are here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash instant every single day at 7 p.m. Central European time. This is a good uh, teaching moment for radio prompts. I like this. I haven't really focused on that a lot. But this was definitely made me decide uh, my uh, final result here. And a different prompt would have made me decide something different here. So that uh, it's an important thing to pay attention to. It doesn't get uh, that much attention often, but it's definitely a thing. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Bye-bye. Let's uh, see your experience, though. Here you go. Two and a half thousand. There you go, YouTube. Awesome. Beautiful. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love.